Hormone replacement therapy for women in menopause or any menopause has been around for decades. And when it first came out, we chose to use estrogen and progesterone because we were able to get it very easily. In fact, the first form of estrogen was synthesized from pregnant mare urine or Premarin. So they would get the urine from a five-year-old pregnant mare and dry it up. And the compound left behind was a type of estrogen to help treat menopause. Then we found out a few laters that, years later that if we use estrogen alone without progesterone, there was a risk of uh, uterine cancer, so we added on progesterone. And then years went by, we were using this Premarin and progesterone along, and then synthetic drug variations of that came out, and it turned out that we were seeing a little bit in increased incidence of breast cancer and heart disease with the synthetic version of estrogens and progestins. And that led to a big fear amongst doctors and patients who are using these hormones because they really weren't hormones at all. And that led to maybe even more of an interest in bioidentical hormones, actually using human-type hormones rather than horse-drive hormones or totally synthetic drug hormones. Right about that time, we were also finding that maybe we picked the wrong hormone. And where does estrogen come from? Well, all of your estrogen as a woman comes from your own testosterone, and you actually have 20 times more testosterone than estrogen as a woman. Yet we picked estrogen to treat menopause, and it turns out we were probably just wrong. Studies have shown that testosterone in women with menopause works superior to estrogen, particularly it reduces a woman's rate of breast cancer by over 70% and improves all symptoms of menopause. So we just picked the wrong hormone. We learned this over the last 15 years. We should have been using testosterone in the first place and the medical community has been a little slow to adopt this more modern understanding of how women age and how our hormones affect their body.